Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Guys, I want to talk about a technique today that is one that I've used for a long time. I think it makes me a very efficient fisherman because it allows me to present my bait into places that other baits can't go. And therefore, my bait is in front of fish that don't always see other baits. Uh, it's just something that I think is very underutilized, even though it's been around for a long time. It's a great technique. It catches numbers. It catches big fish. So that's what we're going to talk about today, because I think a lot of you may not even be aware of this or have seen them and didn't really understand when you should be using them. So we're going to get into that. I do want to remind you that if you are looking for some help on your local lakes, check out the lake breakdowns that I do with fishthemoment.com. The link is in the description. Also, if you're looking to buy tackle and want to support the channel, use the Tackle Warehouse affiliate link that I provided in the uh, description as well. Okay, guys, so we all know how much a jig can be a great bait for catching big fish, for catching numbers of fish. It's one of my absolute favorite baits, but I'll tell you what, a jig is not always uh, as, uh, it's not always the perfect choice. There are circumstances where a jig just isn't going to allow you to present your bait into areas that you might be able to get, say, a traditional Texas rig. But a jig, a lot of times, is the bait that I would rather get into those areas because I think it gets better bites and it gives the fish a, a, a more of a bluegill-type profile. It's just something that I, if I can get a jig into uh, that area, I would prefer to go with a jig first. The problem, again, like I said, is it can be a big, bulky bait. So you've got a weed guard, you've got an exposed hook, you've got a big head on it with a different variations of line tie angles that can make your bait not as weedless as it should be. So generally what people would go for then, say if you're fishing matted vegetation, maybe big bulrushes, uh, buggy whips, you know, big thick fields of that, is a traditional Texas rig, whether it's a beaver style bait or a cross style bait, people are going to switch over to a Texas rig. Texas rigs are great, but there are times that I want the bulk of a jig. So what should you do? Well, in those instances, guys, that's when I go with a punch rig. A punch rig, for those of you who are not familiar, is just a bullet weight with a collar. So if you get a collar on it, you can take your favorite skirt, put it on the collar, and therefore you end up with what is referred to as a punch rig. So in this case, it's a Texas rigged skirted, you know, weight basically. But that allows me to take a traditional Texas rig and make it look much more like a jig profile. So it's a bigger, bulkier bait. The key here though, is the head on it. Because you have the bullet style head, this bait now is much more streamlined and will get you down into the gnarliest of cover. If you're flipping milfoil mats, that bait will fall into the milfoil mats nine times out of ten better than your traditional jig would. If you're fishing, say, lay down trees that have tons and tons of branches, maybe some leaves on it, this will get you down into that tree better than a jig will. Uh, so you're retaining the bulk and shape of a jig, but now you've got a bait that's much more streamlined and therefore it's going to allow you to be more efficient on the water because you'll have more casts get down into the, the cover that you're fishing versus the jig, which will get hung up more just based on the weed guard. And when I say hung up, I don't necessarily mean stuck. I mean, it won't literally get down into the cover because of, of the weed guard, the profile, it's just a bigger, bulkier bait. So the punch rig to me is like the best of both worlds. I've got the jig profile, I've got the Texas, the, the streamlineness of a Texas rig, and therefore I can get this bait down into those areas. So it really what I'm recommending guys is you wanna check out some of these punch rigs because it does give you the opportunity to quickly adjust the Texas rig and make it more into a jig style bait. One tip that I will tell you about though, is something we don't really hear much. You may be using a punch rig, but I'd be willing to bet that the majority of you use it with your typical cross style baits and beaver style baits. The one thing I wanna point out is you can do this also with a swim bait. If you put a swim bait on your uh, punch rig or put a punch rig in front of a swim bait, 
what you can do is create a new form or a much more streamlined form of a swim jig. Well, you might ask, well, why would you want that with a swim jig? Well, the principles are similar to if, you know, if you're throwing a jig but can't get the jig down into those areas. Same thing can happen with a swim jig. If you've got a swim jig that's got a weed guard on it, it's a bigger, bulkier bait, it may not be coming through grass as well. It may not be coming through cattails, bulrushes. You may have a ton of branches or pad stems. A lot of times what will happen with a swim jig is you get caught up on those individual stalks. You know, whether it's a pad stem or a bulrush, it's just not as efficient to use it. If you put a uh, boot tail swimmer on a punch rig, so in this case, this is just a power swimmer, put the punch rig in front of it, you know, I would peg it down at that point. You've got another form of a swim jig that is much more streamlined now and will come through cover way better than any swim jig will. It's definitely something you want to try. The only thing I'm going to counter that with is you do lose some of the wobble, like the dirty jig swim jig that I use. I love it because it has good side to side motion. That has a lot to do with line tie angles and the shape of the head. You'll lose a lot of that when you when you switch over to a punch rig because you don't have a line tie angle you've just got a bullet weight but if you're throwing a boot tail swimmer like this you'll re you'll still get some of that side to side motion so you're not going to lose it all together but you will lose some of the motion that you may have been getting before uh, but again guys this is another great use to a punch rig it's something that i don't ever hear anyone talk about I can tell you I've used it to catch a lot of fish and it's something that allows you to present your bait into places that traditional other baits don't get into and therefore you're going to be putting yourself in a better position to catch more fish. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you liked it, hit the like button, share it on social media, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and stay tuned. Another video coming out tomorrow.